Welcome to the Straight Razor Edge Friday Special. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving and welcome back. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave and all things straight razor related, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. All right, in tonight's Straight Razor Edge Friday Special, the best lathering tutorial, how to lather a shave soap. Yep, this is for uh, you new people out there, teenagers, or uh, anybody using a straight razor or a DE razor that is having problems making a good lather. All right, so now tonight we are going to be introducing the... Uh, Expedition Soap Series, and this is a new soap uh, made by uh, Aaron, and this is the Captain Clark version, and this is based on Captain William Clark, who was with the Lewis and Clark Expedition. So this is just a marvelous scent. It uh, has top notes of tobacco and leather, and the secondary notes are oak moss, citrus, and sage. So this is the Outdoor Guys soap. This guy was brilliant. And he mapped the West, and it's like 3,700 miles of map that didn't exist before he did it. Now, I will have the whole story from Aaron himself down in the description. You can check that out, all right? And for our brush tonight, we're going to be using my Omega 10,098. All right. And now this is the wet brush technique. That's what we're going to be doing. And basically, there's still water in this. And, you know, I can, I can actually, you know, leave water in there. Now, this was only soaked from here down. I don't ever soak the handle or the knot, just from here down to the tips. That's all that gets wet. And I soak it in warm water, or hot water actually. And then for the soap, this is a glycerin based soap. And I went ahead and did a melt and pour, put it in this bowl. And as you see, it is blooming. Now I bloom all my hard soaps. I I know there's controversy about that, but I do. It just works for me. So do whatever works for you, all right? So now, the first thing we do is, number one, soak that brush. Make sure it has been soaking while you have been in the shower, all right? And you're going to want to get out uh, some of that water, but not all of it. And then I would also, like I say, soak the puck as well. Now, I always pour that off, and I put that on as a pre-shave. So let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow. What a marvelous scent. Oh, Aaron, you outdid yourself. Really good. Now... Got that on as a pre-shave. Next, we soak the brush. We've soaked the puck. So number one, you soak the brush. Number two, you soak the puck. Number three, we need to get enough soap on this brush. Now, how much is enough soap? Good question. All right. So what I would do, I would suggest, is at least work on uh, 30 seconds, okay? But you need to actually work it until you get enough soap. Now, in my case, you know, this is the wet brush technique. Look at this mess I'm making. That's normally what happens, is I make a mess. But that proto lather on the outside, not a big deal. It's okay, and it's all good. Now, we just keep working it and working it. Okay, look at this. 
Look at this. Nice, nice. Okay, we're almost there. Almost. Now, you need to get enough product on that brush. So my point is, take as long as it takes. No big deal. Okay, and now, like always, I've made a mess. And uh, here it is. Look at this. Crazy, right? But that's all right. Because what we're going to do with that proto lather is we're just going to put it on anyway to work on those whiskers and hydrate them. All right, just like that. Done. Now, this will let me show you what's going on in that bowl a little bit better. Okay, because now what's going on in this bowl is if you look at that, and I don't know if you can hear it. Can you hear that? Okay, now that soap is all pasty. That is a nice pasty soap. And that's what we're looking for. That's enough soap. Once you get it to that stage where, see that? It sticks. That would be enough soap. All right. Now, here's what we're going to do. Now we take that and we just paint it on. Paint that soap right on. And as we're doing this, now that brush has still got some water in it. Now I am kind of twirling that brush ever so slightly as I'm working this lather up. Now this is a boar hair brush. So this is natural hair. So you have to soak these. Uh, if you had badger or boar or horse, they need to be soaked, okay? They just do. If you have a synthetic brush, you don't need to soak it. I would say get it wet, though. Definitely you're going to need a wet brush. Oh, and look at that. Is that beautiful or what? That is nice. And now, I'm just going to dip the tips right here in the water. Because this soap is going to be able to take more water than this. And what we want is that fantastic lather that I know this soap can do. Okay, there you go. See it explode? That's so cool. <laughs> I really enjoy that. Okay, there you go. And now you have this wonderful lather. Look at that. Is that beautiful or what? I'm telling you, this is good stuff. All right. And look at that brush. I've got enough on there easily for a three pass shave and we're good to go. All right. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you stopping by, especially for these Friday specials. It's always good to see you. All right. You can click right up here for the best one pass shave for a beginner. And you can click over here for my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.